usual position and start the video. Welcome to Supercars of London. I'm driving my car, as you can see, and I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video of me announcing my European tour with this car, Schmiegel 150, seen through glass, and everyone else that is gonna get in my video over the next three weeks or so. So I cannot wait to take this car to Monaco. I feel like I'm literally living the dream. I'm driving my own car. There's a V8 loud, silly loud, army tricks exhaust system car down to Monaco. I've been to Monaco quite a few times and I've been car spotting of course and you see all these cool cars. To go down there, to be in the sun, south of France, whatever, probably making some of you quite jealous now, but no, I'm making myself jealous just talking about it, but I can't wait to go down there. And of course, I'm going to be vlogging and filming so much that it's gonna be just the ultimate, ultimate content of supercars and whatever I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. We're sharing a villa with like four other guys. It's gonna be hilarious um, what we get up to. I think there's gonna be a few challenges um, as well. So, um, just to kick off the video, I'm talking about yesterday's video, and I hope you don't mind these Army Tricks stickers too much. I know that some of my other sponsorship stickers got slated when I did Gumball and things like that, but hopefully these are slightly a bit more tasteful, and I'm looking forward to um, just getting everything underway, really. So you won't believe who I have come across. I, I genuinely can't get rid of him. Yesterday, he popped up in the video in Watford, in the RS7. He's now behind me. And, uh, and there's also Sam, who was one core of the idiots that went car shopping two weeks ago, and he's in the Super Leger as well. Um, so it looks to me like we've somehow had a convoy. Of, like we've got like a mini as well. I'm not sure whether that's anything to do with them. The RS7. what happens. Make up parking spaces as we go along. And then down there is a LaFerrari. Blocked by a Q7. So somehow we've ended up with the um, every single one of the idiots that was in the video two <laughs> weeks harsh. ago. I'm not an idiot, mate. I'm just a bit retarded. Tom's in an RS7, and then obviously the same cars as last time. He's a total idiot. Oh, <laughs> with, with the with the snapback on. <laughs> and yeah, we've met up here for no real reason. I've accidentally accidentally come across them after a couple of shares and location on WhatsApp. And um, then we're going to be meeting up with the rest of the gang. These actually aren't joining the meet back towards where I live, um, out in Rickmansworth. They are just, um, I think they've just come for a bit of lunch. And um, yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, yeah, Tom's yeah. parked his yacht in front of mine. His family wagon. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made it to the little meeting ground. And as you can see, there's a few cars gathering. I'm going to film as much as I can. There's only a C63 that you can see. G wagon coming here. Oh, this is thick. No, you can't see any cars. Just in a C63 revving. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. And there's a whole host of colourful cars. We've got an R8, a McLaren, a Maserati, a Lotus, a Lambo, an Aston, a Ferrari, a Lambo, a C63, and my car. And it's looking like it's going to be a good turnout here. And I like the colours as well. And the blue one fits in nicely.
day one. Um, turns out we're in the wrong place, but I wanted to film that, so we have to move. Oh, there's lots of people. <laughs> So unfortunately I'm going to have to get the Alfa Romeo in the shot to begin with. But this is the group that we have. We've got a Scudder here, my car, a few other cars here, and then on the other side there is a huge group of cars and a huge group of people. And we are all going to be convoying out of central London um, and having some fun whilst we're at it. I bloody hope that we find some tunnels because that is just going to be the most insane thing in the world. Uh, Aston is probably one of the loudest cars on the convoy and we're coming up to a tunnel so I'm going to stick right by it so that I can get put the window down and um, try and have a sound off. I don't think I'm even going to compete with that, it's just ridiculous and um, according to the old owner it also spits flames so, so flames are always good. still not focusing zoom out focus zoom in and what you can you see a Lotus 4C bit of a Lambo and a bath a Citroen a Volvo of course and um, at the moment we're here at the pub and it looks like there's a bit of a traffic jam to get into the car park because we're all in super low cars and none of them are road friendly and um, yeah you probably can't really see it. Oh, you can, but thanks to the brake lights of the car in front. And um, overall, overall, I couldn't film too much because I'm the only one in here and I did a bit of mouth cam, I did a bit of dashboard cam, but I've got to keep two hands on a steering wheel and my mind fully focused on the driving. So um, we are now, I don't know what we're doing, but we're driving very slowly, put it that way. I can see a door up. It looks like a, a McLaren door. And I think the park, car park is absolutely packed, which makes it more enjoyable for all these cars. I've already got my space. My space is here. I oh, know. Sense. Action. What? I don't know. Like oh. camera action. Oh, oh, do you want me to film you parking? 
You can do. I will do. And I will keep this in the video to make it look <laughs> how seamless this YouTube stuff is. This is how we do it. <laughs> Ow. That was a uh, that was a close. Um, what a lad! <laughs> You're a moron. It's prestigious. Look at my parking <laughs> sensor going bad. <laughs> Like two fingers, two fingers. You're, you're like literally. <laughs> but you, you were jerk. You were flying back. Yeah, I know. If, I if you were moving really slowly, that would be okay. But it was the way you were lurching. Yeah. You hit that. <laughs> that would be great stuff. It would have been a good video. Don't act like you did. This guy doesn't want to be used to it. I don't speed. What are you on about? So the latecomers have arrived and we're all here. Gonna get some food because I'm starving. I've been starving for about five hours. So it's just, I'm gonna put the camera in the car, film on my phone, time to get some food. Right, you probably can't see anything, but that is the end of the evening and the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm not sure how the content has come out. I mean, at all. I hope it's come out well and you've enjoyed the video and I hope it's a, a valid substitution to the Top Gear. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier in the video, the next week is honestly gonna be insane. And then from the Sunday, it's just gonna be chaotic on Supercars of London. Supercars of London becomes Supercars of Monaco. So stay tuned for so much more to come. Huge surprises, amazing supercars, and that's what Supercars of London is all about. So thank you very much. Make sure that you subscribe, comment if you like the video, like it as well, and I'll see you guys very, very soon for lots and lots of updates and more to come. I'm shattered now. But my, at least my belly's full so I can sleep well. Cheers guys. <laughs> Don't even know why I ended like that. I will.